Put away your dusty history books. Today we invite you to a lesson of a different kind, in which no blunt dates are rattled off. Instead, we look at some amazing incidents from the past your teachers probably never told you about. Or did you know that Napoleon's worst enemy didn't wear a uniform but had oversized ears and fur? You want to know what extraordinary things happened in the past? Then stay tuned and see for yourself. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our future videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn one of the strangest history facts we guarantee you never heard before. The First Bomb Casualty the Allied bombing raids during World War II cost the lives of around 600,000 German civilians. A total of around 2 million tons of bombs rained down on the Germans and the occupied territories. However, the story of the first bomb victims in Berlin is rather less known. On August 26, 1940, British planes dropped the first explosive devices over the German capital. However, the damage caused was limited. Apart from a destroyed building on on the outskirts of town and two slightly injured people, there were no casualties, at least no human ones. In fact, one of nine elephants in the Berlin Zoo died in the attack. In 1944, another seven pachyderms died in Allied air raids. The only snout in Berlin to survive the war was Siam, an Indian bull elephant who was left to his own devices in the remaining part of his enclosure. Annie Taylor on October 24, 1901, the American teacher Annie Taylor celebrated her 63rd birthday. Instead of celebrating her day of honor with champagne and cake, the daring woman had something completely different in mind. She wanted to throw herself down Niagara Falls in a barrel, and mind you, is the first person in history to do so. Around 4 p.m., the air-filled anvil weighted and professionally corked barrel was to be handed over to the torrential waters. Almost 20 minutes later, the birthday child fell 53 meters and was rescued alive after around 4.40 p.m. Miraculously, the barrel survived the fall unscathed. At first glance, Annie also seemed to be fine, but she had suffered a wound on the back of her head and severe shock during her adventure. Shortly after performing the daring maneuver, the American became nationally known, but the fame fizzled out just as quickly as it came. In fact, things went downhill rapidly for Annie after that. After much financial misery and many professional failures, she found herself in a poorhouse in the last months of her life. D-Day the Allied invasion of Normandy heralded the final downfall of the German Empire. Operation Overlord finally led to the establishment of a second front in the West, which brought the long-awaited relief to the Red Army in the East. June 6, 1944 is still commonly known as D-Day, but what does that even mean? Does the first D stand for pathos-laden terms like Decision Day or Doomsday? Well, the official statement from the British Imperial War Museum shows that the designation is a lot less spectacular, so it's just a general military term for the day an exercise or operation is scheduled to begin. The D has no special meaning and could be replaced with any letter. The letter only serves to create a temporal reference point from which all other data can be calculated. The Rabbit's Revenge in 1807, Napoleon was at the peak of his power. During the Fourth Coalition War, French troops had succeeded in bringing Prussia and Russia to their knees, who then became unwilling allies. To duly celebrate this military-political bang and to cuddle up properly, Marshal Louis-Alexandre Berthier decided to invite the mighty Emperor of the French to a rabbit hunt. For this reason, Berthier had brought in thousands of long-eared rabbits, but when 
the hunt for the little victims was about to begin, the tide turned. Instead of fleeing, the released rabbits targeted Napoleon and his companions. Faced with around 3,000 attackers, the men didn't know what to do and panicked. They then began repelling the hopping army with whips, sticks, and their rifles, Napoleon even firing a few shots. After more and more animals had bitten into the emperor's pants and jacket, the celebrated general had no choice but to retreat in a carriage. The story goes that Napoleon then threw the last of the rabbits out the window. According to the story, Berthier had received domesticated animals from a breeder. When they saw the people in the open field, they rushed towards them hoping to be fed. Instead of dusting off delicious carrots, however, the fluffy attackers won what is probably the most curious military victory in history. The Empress and the Monkey Speaking of Napoleon, his wife Josephine de Bournay also looked back on an animal past. The Empress was particularly interested in exotic contemporaries such as black swans, emus, or kangaroos. Her favorite animal, however, was Rose, a young female orangutan. In fact, the monkey is said to have had such good manners that he was allowed to dine with Josephine and even share a bed with her. But despite all these privileges and cuddles, Rose did not cope well with life at court and died after only five months in captivity. The Alien Pharaoh when the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten came to power, his people were confronted with far-reaching upheavals, so the king forced his subjects to renounce the old deities and henceforth only worship the sun god Aten. Born as Amenophis IV, Akhenaten finally gave himself his world-famous name and dedicated the new capital, Achit Aten, to the now most powerful of all gods. His appearance is said to have been no less puzzling than the ruler's bizarre change to cultural norms. A look at the thousand-year-old statues of the pharaoh leads us to assume that Akhenaten did not appear like a conventional human being. Thus, the king was often depicted with a strangely large pointed head, disproportionately large almond eyes, and strangely thin limbs. But what was the bizarre appearance of the ruler all about? On the one hand, this may be due to the fact that Egyptian art also underwent radical changes during the reign of Akhenaten. While the previous works had been more idealizing, the depictions now produced seemed almost like exaggerated caricatures. In addition, however, it's also repeatedly assumed that Akhenaten actually suffered from a hormonal disorder that noticeably changed his appearance. In detail, this could have been acromegaly, which is associated with a chronic excess of growth hormone. As part of this clinical picture, the body parts known as acra, such as hands and feet, but also also ears, nose, and chin take on unusually large dimensions. Die-hard pre-astronauts, however, have a far less earthly explanation ready in this regard. This parascience is based on the assumption that the ancients were in lively exchange with extraterrestrial visitors. The story of Akhenaten takes this already controversial theory even further. The ancient Egyptian pharaoh is said to have been the descendant of an alien himself. What are your thoughts on this almost unbelievable Unbelievable thesis. Tell us in the comments. The Baby Lottery what do the operators of a Parisian orphanage do when they run out of money? That's right, they're holding a raffle where the lucky winner can win a live baby. What makes us shake our heads today became reality in 1911 and with the full approval of the authorities, mind you. After all, the orphanage checked the parental suitability of the winners before they received their bizarre prize. The proceeds were then shared among several charities. Tsutomo Yamaguchi on August 6th and 9th, 1945, man's destructiveness reached a new dimension. As is well known, these were the days when the U.S. atomic bombs fell on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. About 100,000 people died instantly as a result of the explosions, almost all of whom were civilians and forced laborers. By the end of 1945, the long-term effects of the attack claimed another 130,000 lives, with countless more to follow in the years to come. 
The Japanese Tsutomu Yamaguchi was one of less than 200 known people who survived both atomic bombings. The unbelievable. In both cases, the then 29-year-old was only 3 kilometers away from the explosion site. When the bomb fell on Hiroshima, he was just getting off a tram. In Nagasaki, he was in his superior's office. Both times, the Japanese survived the injuries and high radiation exposure and ultimately lived to be 93 years old. British Zanzibar War it's August 27, 1896 at 9 a.m. local time when the British Zanzibar War breaks out. In just 38 minutes later, the fighting was stopped again, which means that the battle from back then is still considered the shortest war in world history. Shortly before, the Sultan of Zanzibar had mysteriously died, and the British colonial masters suspected a conspiracy with German participation. The new Sultan, Chalid ibn Bargash, did not even think of complying with the British request and abdicating. Instead, in just two days, he mobilized an army of 2,800 men, which he stationed along the seafront around the palace. When Chalid let the British ultimatum pass, they began to fire on board their warships with all guns, after which the palace area was conquered in a surprise attack. While the Sultan's troops had to mourn 500 dead and wounded, only one soldier was injured on the British side. Bizarre Funeral in 1838, Mexican general and politician Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana suffered a terrible loss. The victim? His lower leg. Accordingly, the leg could no longer be saved after the impact of a cannonball. So what did the Mexican do with his amputated body part? That's right, he had it buried with all military honors. Later, however, the leg was to be dug up by demonstrators and dragged through the streets. Whenever Antonio made a public appearance, he proudly held up his prosthesis as a sign of sacrifice for his country. An incident from 1847 shows that his own life was more important to him than a wooden gesture. At that time, the Mexicans' troops were surprised by a unit from Illinois. Antonio then got on his horse as quickly as he could, leaving his iconic prosthesis behind. Even today, the prestigious artificial leg is exhibited in a museum in Springfield. A little fun fact at the end. De Santa Ana was Mexico's head of state 11 times and was banished to life imprisonment five times. The Longest War in History The war between the Netherlands and the British Isles of Scilly lasted an incredible 335 years. The curious thing, in all this time not a single person was killed, not even a shot was fired. Whether the war took place at all from the point of view of international law has not been conclusively clarified. If acknowledged, however, this would be the longest and bloodiest war in history. In 1651, the Dutch demanded heavy reparations from the British on the Isles of Scilly for lost ships and cargo. Since the request was rejected, the Dutch Admiral Trump declared war on the Silonians. Shortly thereafter, the two parties to the conflict were able to come to an agreement. But the Dutch forgot to reverse the declaration of war. This only happened on April 17, 19. And thus exactly 335 years after the war broke out. While the war may have ended quite some time ago, it's still surprising to see that the two countries simply forgot to settle their differences once and for all. Nampa Figure if you believe a somewhat controversial story, some construction workers discovered a small figure, not even 5 centimeters tall, while building a well in 1889. The discovery depth of the tiny doll is estimated to have been about 90 meters. The object was made of fired clay and, with its filigree shape, left no doubt that it was made by human hands. The unbelievable thing is that the figure, discovered in the city of Namba, Idaho, should not have existed at all. In fact, the object was locked in a deep rock layer, the age of which was estimated at a whopping 2 million years. As is well known, there were no people at all at that time. So is this potentially proof of time travel, the work of an extraterrestrial civilization, or just a brazen fake? What do you think of the Nampa character? 
So far, no one has been able to explain this strange discovery. Some people have suggested that the figure is a fraud and was placed there many years later, but we don't know much for sure. After all, how could something like this have simply been placed there when it required lots of heavy machinery to dig to such an incredible depth? The truth is, we may never know. That brings us to the end of our little history lesson. What information was new to you and what surprised you the most? Hit the keys diligently and tell us in the comments below. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to learn more about the strangest incidents of the past. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.